Welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bobby Waldron and in this video we're going to be having episode 3 of the HMS Victory Build. Now what we have here is we have issues 9 through 12 in this episode 3. Um, episode 9 we looks like we have a nice bunch of extra bits for our launch. Um, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, we've got like anchors and oars and um, looks like a bit of photo etching there um, to kind of really sort of bring that along. We've also got the rest of our keel um, and a few other little bits and bobs in, in issue 10. And 11 and 12 is basically a load more ribs, which we've already covered. Um, but what we want to do first is continue with the launch and here is the launch now with this launch what we need to do is if you remember in episode two we put it all together um, and it's all on the jig but what we need to do we need to sand this now now this sanding side of things is um, Ooh, you know it's not exactly an exact science you've just got to kind of sort of feel it and get it nicely curved the way you want it so I'm coming in with to start off with this nice flat um, quite coarse sanding stick and what we want to do is um, just here at the front is we want to smooth this off we need to smooth it off so as we don't have any raised sort of like sharp edges we want it to just be smooth all the way along all right but what we want to do what we don't want to do sorry is we don't want to be sort of sanding um, these um, sort of like steps that are just here we don't want to be sanding them down right we just want to be sanding you know right to the step just there and getting rid of any of the edges now you do have to sand quite carefully right because I mean it's quite easy would be quite easy to like snap one of these so keep it nice and light and also um, pieces number three here these two remember we didn't glue um, these to the top so as you can see they're moving but you've got to be careful but you've got to kind of sand this out nice and smooth right and you want to work that all the way along but really you know you're concentrating at this front bit mainly because this is where we want to put a nice curvature into the whole launch area here this is just so our planks will go on a lot smoother all right we don't want the planks sitting on any kind of edges because if they sit on edges they're gonna bulge out we want them to nicely smoothly be able to go on here nicely right and as we kind of work our way along and down sort of like the middle area you know it's it's you don't have to sand it as much and then when we sort of get to the back here as well this needs a little bit of a sanding just right at the back right. and really once you've sanded away sort of like most of the edges what you also want to do which I've found is if you sort of look right down where these steps are the steps could just do with a bit of a sanding as well all right just get them so they're all nicely sort of nice and sort of level with each other all right you don't want to go too far we don't want to kind of sand it down to the point where it's you know we're taking the shape out of this just a little bit of a sand just to get them a level right and then there is another sanding stick here which is sort of like a bit more of a finer sanding stick but it's got a bit of a sponge to it and this sponge um, will kind of like sand in a nice curvature um, to this as well as being a bit of a, a finer grip to just nicely 
kind of bring this all together and because it's a sponge it should nicely give us a bit of a curvature rather than these flat sanding sticks they kind of they can give you a bit of a flat top all right now I'm going to continue with the rest of this off camera but basically you want it to look like the way I've done it this side as you can see we've really curved this number three around here and you want to just feel that it just curves around and you don't want to feel anything raised all right you just want to have a nice smooth all the way around so now we come to the planking which is probably the hardest part of any sort of wooden um, shipbuilding now when we're going to be doing this I'm just going to show you doing a bit because um, we've got the HMS victory to plank up and you know I want to go into more greater detail with that rather than sort of telling you everything now on this little um, launch here now what I'm going to be using is, um, is, is CA glue super glue now there are different ways we can do this different glues um, it is kind of like personally what you prefer you know we can use wood glue and I know a lot of modelers use wood glue um, but a lot of the modelers also use um, CA glue so um, me personally I do like to use a CA glue um, and just just to let you know this uh, I would be using medium CA glue by Zappagap but this one has sort of dried up and gone all nasty I've ordered some in the post so use the the medium CA glue um, and I'm just going to be using this poly zap which is basically the same thing but it's more for fabrics uh, and it's got a bit of flexibility too but for just to until you know I get the medium CA glue in I'll be using this now when it comes to the planks right I have off camera left this plank in um, some nice warm water for about 10 minutes and what this will do the water will soak into it and when we do some bending with this it will um, allow us to bend it a lot easier without it snapping now I do have a, a planking iron but I'm kind of thinking um, these planks they're less than a mil thick and because they're less than a mil thick it does make it easier for you to go off and bend these without you know going off and using planking irons and all this kind of stuff you know we'll we'll get into the planking iron when we get into victory now with these because they're so thin we can actually bend these quite easily without any kind of real you know fancy tools or anything like that which just to remind you um the free tool that we got for cutting planks do not use this right this is less than a mil thick and if you use this um plank bending thingy whatever I forgot what it was called you're gonna basically just cut it and you know it's not gonna work right so what we want to do we want to get some of our well first off um, what we want to do is we sort of want to start the bending process a bit right and we can do this by simply putting our plank on our piece on our um, jig here right and we just simply get it how we want it and just start to sort of bend it right just bend it nicely to the curvature right and hopefully you can see I'm leaving a little bit um, just at the front here I know in the instructions it does say you say to actually go off and put it right up and then sort of bend it around but I find it's easier just to leave a nice little bit Right, and we can trim that all up nice and perfect um, later so we've sort of put a bit of a bend in it now as, hopefully as you can see that is just starting to bend it's not kind of holding on its own in that exact position but we've got a bit of a bend in it and because we've wet it we can even with our fingers just sort of give this a little bit of a bend because they're so thin you know they're only little planks you know we can get away with doing this if you have got a, a bending iron by all means you know go off and use it but for this I just want to show you a nice easy way of doing it without running off and getting um, bending irons and stuff because they're about 40 pounds for these bending irons right 
So that looks, you know, pretty okay at the moment. So now what we want to do, we want to start getting some of our um, CA glue down. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to glue um, our front bit just here. I want to start gluing, I want to leave that one unglued. All right, and hopefully our glue is going to come out. And we want to just on these little bulkheads put a bit of glue. So we have CA glue applied to all these little bulkheads. We just want to now, really quickly before it dries, get this into a lovely position right, as quick as possible. Without it coming up. Right, so I'm just holding that into position while it dries. Right, and making sure this first actual plank is nicely butting up to all our steps that are running along here. Right. Now don't worry, some of this glue hasn't sort of taken nicely. You know, it has dried before I've put it on, so we just try and get a bit underneath there at the back here. All right, don't be afraid to sort of get your your blade out and sort of hold it down. Alright, because uh, you know our fingers can get like stuck to it and we don't want that happening. Right now, if you feel that you could do with maybe a bit of zapper gap, sorry, not zapper gap, a bit of um, vital bond, you can. Um, now the problem is with using this is I've found actually is. Um, when you're spraying it, if you're not in a well ventilated area, what can potentially happen? So not get my finger stuck to this. What can potentially happen is it sort of gets into the air, and then um, all our sort of our um, CA glue lids start to sort of dry up very quickly. All right. So you could just spray a bit, just off camera. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Hold on, there we go, let's put that down. Spray a bit on your finger, off camera, so you're not sort of spraying it into the air, and you can just sort of wipe that underneath off your finger, and it'll sort of basically do the same trick. Right, because that CA glue is taking a little bit of time to dry. So with all our bulkheads, um, that are more the easier bulkheads all nicely glued this plank all along there rather nicely We've now got our two ends to sort out and we need to be careful with these because they are like the the finishing off bit So we're just going to get a nice bit of medium CA glue just at the back there all Right, and we're going to hold this one in and this one's actually rather easy at the back give it a bit of a blow. Um, one thing I also should have mentioned actually is when putting these planks on right you want to start off with the bottom one here like we've done here but then you want to do one on the other side and then turn it over and do another one turn it over do another one because um, I shouldn't have done it really, but it's only a little little launch, but really it's one each side and, and just keep on doing that. Don't sort of go up one, two or three planks up one side and then do another three planks the other side because you can get like this sort of a bowing action going on where it sort of um, kind of misshapes the hull a bit. Right. And that's not quite in there. I'm just going to throw a bit of kicker in there just to speed things up give the kicker a blow right, and that feels quite good there alright so now we come to the hard part which is at the front but um, we've not glued 
the front beer and um, never and don't glue um, pieces free right these pieces free here as you can see you know it's still loose right you don't want to be gluing that to the plank right because when we remove this from the jig we're going to actually remove um, this piece free as well this piece free is there just to sort of give it um, something to sit on nicely all right so what we want to do is get a bit of this medium well actually no what we probably want to do first is actually cut this all right so let's sort of get my left hand on this so getting a nice sharp blade and we're just holding that in position we want to cut this as dead center down here as possible All right so maybe start off with a light cut and sort of cut it a bit more and more and it does cut rather nice and easy Right, and then that there just fits in there. Hold on, maybe a little bit of a trim. It's just maybe not lining up with the other side quite nicely. So just I'm just trimming off a bit. Although you don't have to worry too much because later on in the build we are going to be putting the keel along here, and when we put that keel along it's going to cover up you know any potential sort of gaps or nasty bits you don't want that's not quite cutting as neatly as I want but as I say it is going to be covered up right, and that there is just going on there rather nicely so now we can get our last bit of medium CA glue and for this one I'm just gonna hold it down with our blade here and that there is now nicely gonna glue into there as you can see so now let's um, get this second plank on which I've left nicely to soak in warm water so we can bend it but with this one we actually just wanna taper the edge just slightly right just put a nice little tiny sort of little curvature in there right and do this however best you feel you can put it in clamps if you want right, but we just want a bit of a curve because we're going to start you know bringing all this curving it in so it all fits nicely right, and now this is um, potentially one of the hard parts is doing this sort of as you can see here now I'm also trying to keep it nice and sort of equal with the other side as well All right so you know maybe match them up not looking too bad maybe just a little bit more Right, and hopefully you can see it's only a little bit of a curvature, you know, it's just starting that process off a bit. Right, and then the same as we did before, right, we want to come in and we want to just start the whole bending process. Right, we know it's been soaking nicely in water, so it's going to allow us to start bending this. Right, and we basically follow the same process. With these um, two lots of planks now glued on, what we can do, we can get some cutters, come in at the back and just cut these off just there. And we can just basically keep trimming it down until we get it nice and flush. There we go, and then potentially we can come in with a sanding stick to get that all nice and flush. All right, don't worry about super glue marks, because all, right, all this is going to get sanded 
All right, don't don't even worry about any kind of fingerprint marks you're leaving from glue or anything like that. You know, this is all going to get sanded, primed, painted, and everything. Even just at the front here, where we made a little curve in the front, you want to. You know just try and make sure you know both sides are looking equally the same and they both sort of meet and point in the middle nicely so any little bit of a touch up there do there and that would be that next thing as well what i like to do and a few modelers like to do is um, use thin ca glue really nice glue this is it's really really thin it's got a you know a nice capillary action to really suck into any nooks and crannies so what we can do with this just get a little old cloth as well and um, we'll start from the back here. What you do is right where the join line is, right, for our plank, just run some down and then just wipe off whatever's on the surface. And what's happening here is the capillary action of this CA glue is going right in to that join line where the planks meet. We're wiping it up off the surface nice and quickly and what this is going to do is really sort of lock this in really really nice right it's going to suck down into there it's going to join them two planks together a lot better it's going to even go into where our little bulkheads here are lock them in a bit better um, and sort of get rid of any sort of little gaps you might have as well at the same time and again don't worry right you know you wipe it off quickly it doesn't really sit on the surface um, that much af at all once you've wiped it down but we're going to sand it later so don't worry about that um, now as i say you know i want to show you in more detail planking on the victory not really on this on this um, launch here so i'm just going to finish off planking all these so as you can see i've now gone along and put all our planks on now i'm um, sorry i couldn't show you all the planking i just think it'd be better if i show you um, when doing the actual victory but once we've got all these planks on what we want to do is we've potentially got a bit of um, ca glue marks here and there um, you know we've probably got a little bit of a step here and there from um, our planks maybe not quite um, going in there and we want to get this feeling all nice and smooth and to do that you know we've got these um, skinny sticks um, from flurry models you can get them from e models you can get them from models or go you know pretty much any online store and what i'm using i'm using a nice coarse sanding stick and what i've done is i've simply nicely sort of got rid of any sort of glue marks the major sort of raised edges with this and it sort of gives us that bit of a um, a smooth finish to it and after doing that um, we've also got what is a nice sort of medium to almost fine grit going on here um, and we've got this nice sponge to it so when we press down and sand hopefully you can see it will go with the curvature of the hull right so when we sand at this it will nicely sort of sand to the shape the curvature of the actual launch here and it does get it all really really nice i'm feeling this now and it's feeling all so so nice and smooth hopefully as you can see there um, also at the back here i have come along and i have sanded the back here so it's just all nicely sanded there as well um, I kind of wanted to sort of not sort of sand so much around the front section here with um, the flat sanding sticks I didn't want any flat spots I wanted because this is quite a, a bit of a complex curve so to speak hopefully as you can just see there so I did kind of mainly sand here with our sponge sanding stick so it would go with the curvature of this launch here right so um, a little note as well when doing um, doing the planking is um, 
really you know it's a case of taking your time and just putting a plank down and then um, just nicely sanding or cutting it to the shape um, you know put it in some water and get it to slightly bend with the curvature of the launch and then just simply super glue it down and as I've shown you you come along with some um, the thin stuff and just kind of pour it into the um, any sign of kind of recesses and gaps and it really locks that in nice and solid now I've already completely um, sanded this right um, just to speed things up and what I want to show you now Right, is um, we want to fill it in. We want to get all our, you know, gaps all really nice and have this looking absolutely stunningly perfect. And a good product for that, which basically primes and fills, is the Mister Surfacing. I'm using the 100 grade here. You got to give it a good, good shake. And then I want to get out an old and nasty paintbrush, right? Because we don't want to be using anything. Um, fancy for this, not when in, we're using the Mr. Surfacer because it's a filler and it'll make your brushes go all nasty. All right, so just taking the top off, all right, straight that across there. I like to put my top on top of my first top just to keep that all nice and not make all your desk messy. And then we simply dip in with a paintbrush and we're just going to literally paint this on all over and what this will do is because it's um, a liquid putty it will basically go into all those little nooks and crannies it will fill them in and generally give this a nice good priming ready for painting right now also i mean you know this is actually the point in which you need to decide whether you want to paint your hms victory or sort of um, keep it to the nice wooden look all right because if you're going to paint it you can do this priming if you want to keep that nice wooden look right you won't be able to do this uh, you'll probably use varnishes or something like that, but I'm going down the route of painting the HMS Victory here. So we can do this nice filler job and it gets it all really nice. So I'll continue painting this. So with that having a nice amount of time to dry, um, I did do something off camera which was to use um, some white putty by Squadron um, Products and basically where I could see there was sort of bigger gaps I used this white putty and the reason why I use this is because this is like um, a, a thicker filler to get those sort of bigger gaps and you will see those bigger gaps after you've put the Mr. Surfacer on because you'll it'll just bring them out a lot more clearly for you to put that down so I did that and I've left it overnight to dry now the sanding process is is the same as what we did before um, before we put on our filler simply nice coarse sanding stick and we just want to um, take the rough edges off because I mean this white putty will leave um, sort of um, bigger sort of rougher edges so we just want to sand that down and we want to do it lightly we just want to nice and lightly start to remove you know the, 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 the thicker filler off the top you know we're not even sort of getting down to the wood yet we're just nicely sort of getting those rough edges off right now the one thing you want to remember is as well the planks that we're using here are less than a mil thick so you really don't want to kind of really give it some in a certain area because you could literally um, sand away the wood and leave a hole in your boat which you don't want because it'll sink right so we want to do that until we've got all the roughish bits off and it starts to feel a bit smooth and then we've got back to the sponge uh, sanding stick which is like a nice um, medium to fine grit right and we can just nicely then sand this 
down to when it starts to look like this. Let's bring you in really close now. It'll start to look like this side. I've already done this side just to show you and as you can see you're starting to see the wood again but you've got like little patches you know just here and there and, and that there is probably just like a dip in the wood right because we've sanded across that so don't keep sanding until it's gone you know sand until it's just like feeling smooth and you're happy with it right because um, any kind of dips any kind of patches like this are just going to be like dips or cracks or or anything like that right I mean you don't want to sand it completely clean because you'll probably go into the wood at some point and remove the wood right so I'm going to continue sanding away with this right now we've got all that nicely sanded you will feel that it feels absolutely gorgeous right um, what you also want to do is you want to double up on the planking just on the top plank there just put a second one on there um, if you've got this far you should be able to do that very easily it's not very hard at all but then we want to actually remove this now from the jig right and there's two ways of doing it we can come in with some cutters and we can simply just cut into it like that let's bring you in a little bit closer right and what you want to do is you don't want to cut right up to there right because you take the risk of like splintering the wood right we want to cut it you know maybe two or three mil just below and give it a cut and then you can just run that all the way down so I'm just going to quickly run this all the way down I've done it on the opposite side and then at the back now you can also kind of get a saw on this if you do prefer to use a saw but well, this isn't so bad but then at the back you know you might want to use an actual saw so I'm just kind of gonna saw this leaving a couple of mil of the jig sort of left on yeah let's just get this off first and then we can look at um, tidying it up. This might take a bit of time. I want to use a saw obviously for this back bit because I um, can't really cut into this because you'll probably split the wood. Almost there. <coughs> There you go, that's sawed off and it just comes off rather nicely and we really start to see a bit of a boat going on here now. Now um, there is our pieces free in here um, which probably happened to you like it's happened to me. These pieces free, they didn't want to be glued on. Uh, we didn't actually glue it but because we've done all this planking the super glue's obviously used through and actually glued them on. So you just want to carefully try and remove these which because we've used super glue, super glue's brittle and we should be able to just snap them off pretty much and that should come out nice and clean ish so to speak um, so what we want to do now is we want to actually um, sand all these down nicely all right so we want to get all these little bits that are sticking out here and we want to really sort of sand them down i mean you could cut them um, but as I say, you possibly could risk splitting the wood. You could also use a foil if you want. Right. And I'll just show you how you want these to be. Sand just these couple down. Almost there. Yeah, we're, we're basically there hopefully as you can see we've just sanded it so it's not we've not sanded into the planking but we've sanded it sort of level it needs a little bit more to be honest Got some frayed bits going on there we go that's good yeah get them all sorry off camera a bit get them all basically like that 
So there we are all nicely sanded up and I'm really liking the results so far but what we need to do now we need to put this keel on. Now the keel doesn't actually fit rather well at all but I mean really I suppose you've got to take into consideration that you know each one of these is like you know pretty much almost um, a custom thing because we sand it and put the planks on you know a little bit of a mill out here and there is probably inevitable so you know yours might fit better than mine um, but what we basically need to do is if we put this on hopefully as you can see just at the front here let's just get this in position Hopefully, as you can see there at the front, you know, we've got a pretty big gap. Now, we can do a bit of sort of, you know, pushing it down and sort of maybe force glue it, but we've still got these nasty gaps. Now, um, what it says in the instructions is to basically, you know, sand away at the hull a bit um, to get it into shape. Now, I don't know if you just noticed, but right at the top is where it's sort of got a bit of a... You know it's been sort of pushed out so I'm just giving the top bit a bit of a trim okay. and basically when doing this you know you want to take off a bit and test fit take off a bit test fit um, now that's helped nicely um, but we could probably do a little bit more to that to the actual keel part but what we could also do could also get out the sanding stick and sort of um, shape the actual hull as well um, if you do this though you know be a bit careful because if you sand too far you could potentially sand through um, with these thin planks although you can sand um, you know a bit because what you've got to remember is if you do kind of sand through the actual wooden bit don't worry because I mean this keel is going to cover it up so you can sand a little bit into it right um, now basically this is going to be a timely process of sand a bit and then test fit and you just want to keep doing that until you've got a good fit i mean actually already i'm starting to see that's coming along rather nicely actually just by doing that so i'm gonna you know sand a bit cut a bit test fit keep doing that until that fits nicely and then simply super glue it into place like we have done with all um, the other wood on here so we've our keel nicely um glued on now i also did you know if you follow the instructions you know we sand this nice and flush at the back just there um the rubbing strips you know nice bit of wood we just kind of cut that glue that on and just kind of sand it sort of nice and smooth as you can see just on there right but what we want to do now now that we've basically got this underside done i want to i want to spray it i want to prime it and i want to make sure it's all good because we've done a lot of sanding and hopefully this will be good um, so what we're going to do just going to get some homebrew thinners now the homebrew thinners you can go to the genesis models website and under tutorials um, i'll show you how to kind of make your own thinners for spraying you can use tamiya or or Vallejo thinners if you want but it's rather cheap and in some ways I think kind of better and what we want to do we want to make a 50 50 mix with just give it a big shake you know you want a nice 50 50 mix with um, Vallejo surface primer and this is a polyurethane primer which makes it a really nice primer to put down it really does give you a nice nice finish it prepares it for all the other coats of paint that you're going to put on top as well because we're going to be spraying this white and um, you know it's going to take the white quite a bit quite a few layers to get good coverage but if you put the grey primer down it gets it started quite nicely and we want to pour in about a 50 50 mix of our primer and um, there is also a video of this on the genesis models website under product reviews um, on or tutorials showing you how to use fellasio's primer and and sort of all the you know more depth of how to use it giving it a nice mix right, we'll put 
that inner pot of water on the side and then we could probably do we've sort of given us some hands free so I'm just uh, getting some locking tweezers we can lock that in on the underside and as you can see we've got hands free on it check how our paints coming out if it's flowing nicely and then what we want to do is start off with a nice light misty coat all over when I mean misty it's just so it just sort of mistily goes on and what this is doing is when it comes to any kind of spray painting right what you want is to put that first misty coat down and what the first misty coat does is is a lot of paints they like to stick to themselves you know I mean if we went off and sprayed it with a different manufacturer of paint and then come along with another manufacturer of paint and sprayed that down you know sometimes they don't like to stick to other manufacturers um, as well as trying to stick to this wood so a nice misty coat just gives that um, bite for all your other coats it does also dry rather quickly I'm just pressing down the trigger for just air because it's just a misty coat that will dry rather nice <clears throat> so then we can come in with a bit more of a, a light coat now not a misty one just a nice light one All right, and I'll just do this half a side here just to kind of show you so hopefully what you're seeing now is that's gone down rather nicely um, and what we want to do we want to build it up and build it up until it's just nice um, grey primer there and when we put this primer down it's this is our opportunity then to go off and look at what work we have actually done you know um, let's see are there any more sort of nasty gaps cracks any sort of imperfections and we can go off and basically uh, sand them out again and then put on another primer coat and you know if you need to go off and sand again and put another primer coat on you know so be it you know if you kind of you know get this stage nicely primed up and all the imperfections out you know it really does um, end up with a nice finishing model at the end of it so I'm going to carry on priming this up um, to be honest with you I actually I think I'll just do um, the bottom side I don't think there's any point doing the inside yet because we've got to kind of put a few more pieces in there so we may as well wait till we put a few more pieces in there and then spray the inside um, I just wanted to kind of get this top bit done um, now to be honest with you that um, is probably the last of episode three now now I know I'm kind of behind with this whole launch thing because um, it is um, you know it is it is like it is a mini build that we're doing here from start to finish so this is going to take a bit of time to sort of work through but hopefully um, you know we won't get too far behind so um, until next month for episode four which will be hopefully kind of kitting out all the inside of our launch here and painting it um, maybe finish it probably finish it maybe episode five um, as well as HMS victory itself um, we start to kind of get all the ribs on there and put in our first deck down as well so um, that should be good to see next month in episode four so until next time my name is Bobby Waldron this is Genesis models and I hope you've enjoyed Thank you.